Today I'm going to share with you all the equipment that you're going to need to get before your first practice. I'll provide links below and I'll update these things all the time to help you guys out. My main reason for doing this is for the next three seasons that I have with my with my younger son is that I don't have to go through this because I'm, I coach. I don't have to go through this every single time uh, we start out a new season telling the parents where to go get stuff and where the discounts and all that are. Um, so stay tuned and check out the video. First thing you're going to need to get is a baseball bag. I prefer getting the backpack style over the single arm sling old school one that we used to have just because your kid can actually carry this thing open it up and get to his stuff i have another kid on my team who has that old school you know lengthy one that slings over your shoulder and the bat goes into the top slot right and when it's hanging on the fence the kid can't get his own bat so the coach has to go over there and grab it okay um just to just to tell you another reason why I like the backpack is because I can actually wear this. When I bought this thing right here, I was figuring kid size, but I didn't figure that my three and a half year old could actually carry this stuff. And he hikes it all the way out to the field with his glove and helmet inside of it. I chose to get this Easton bag. Um, even though it was a couple dollars more, this bag was $33. There were a couple other knockoff brands via Amazon that were $25 and $27, but I didn't want to buy it because it wasn't it was not a name brand so I ended up choosing the Easton really nice bag big zipper onto the top another small zipper down here you've got a slot over here for your wa for the kids water and obviously holding your bat plus the hook right here so you can hang it on the fence this bag was super cool in the fact that I can loosen up these straps right here and I can wear it uh, if I have to carry a stuff out there it's pretty awesome because I've already got to carry the bucket of balls over here, the bases over here, the tee to hit off of, and anything else that I might have to carry out for that day's practice. So now we'll, uh, we'll get into the, into the bag now. All right, we'll start off with the glove because that came off of the top. You can either get a nine and a half inch glove or a 10 inch glove. I chose to get a 10 inch glove because the pocket size is a little bit bigger and the, fall, and the ball fits in there a little bit better. When these kids are hitting down to pick up a, a, a ground ball, when you have a nine inch glove, it's really hard. It's, it's hard enough with this 10 inch glove for them to get the ball to go in there. But in my opinion, it's only a little bit bigger. They're not catching air balls, it's still three and a half. Uh, uh, I would stick with this. This way you can get a little more life out of it and get into next season with this thing. This glove right here was $15. Uh, I would not suggest spending a lot of money on your glove. They're gonna outgrow this thing in about a year. You're gonna have to step it up. Um, I was in the rolling store, like the official rolling store, and I saw a 10 inch glove like this for $60, which I thought was outrageous. So again, nice little glove. It's synthetic, it's not real leather, it's netted on the back, it's lightweight, and it was $15. Uh, uh, my recommendation. I chose red because red was what they had. I would have chose blue, I'd have chose green. I, I doesn't make a difference to me because I already did this via my nine-year-old. They're gonna grow out of this in no time. All right, so let's step into the helmet. I believe this helmet was $25, okay? With T-ball, you're gonna need this face mask, okay? So you make sure that you get the face mask. If at all possible, you buy them both together. Uh, as one complete unit. Otherwise, it's like $12 for this thing, $20 for this, you're gonna be up another five or so dollars. So if you can at all possible, get it like this uh, uh, with the grill on there. It also comes with the chin strap, which I actually threw away at yesterday's practice. And I suggest you do the same. If the helmet is tight enough, put a hat on. If it's not, get rid of this, this little chin strap right here because they'll never be able to button it and it's always something else they're gonna mess with. They're gonna say it's bother them on their chin. They can't strap it and it's another thing that their coach is gonna have to do is always buckle it, nor can they unbuckle it. So again, somebody's gonna have to do it for them. Every single time, I tell every parent, take that thing off, throw it in the trash. You don't, you don't need it. Uh, and, and, and again, I chose a red helmet because it was it was a special. I, I could have spent and I could have got a nice blue one, a nice you know cool with graphics and all that for forty dollars. But clearly, a three and a half head's going to get bigger. Um, and that's it for the helmet. All right, so we'll step up to the bat. Pre T, if you can find an eleven ounce bat like this one, absolutely get it because they're super tiny. This bat is twenty four inches. When you move up. You get a little bit older, they get a little bit bigger, they know what they're doing, you can move up to a 15 ounce. Probably if you go to the store, all you're gonna be able to find is a 15 ounce bat. 
So again, if you can find anything less than the 15 ounce bat, go for it. It could be 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 are, are exactly the same. Now it might not sound like much, but you can hold up this 11 ounce bat and a, and a, a 14 or 15 ounce bat right next to it, clearly tell the difference. Um, so again, 24 inches, 11 to 13 if you can find it, 14 and 15 if you can't. Uh, I have more than half the kids on my team that use this bat right here because their parents bought them what was on the shelf and I understand, but 14 and 15 ounce bat for a little kid that's 36 inches tall and weighs, my son's a little bit heavier, he's he, heavier, he's 36 pounds. Uh, I have other kids, I have a little girl on my team who's probably 29-ish uh, pounds. And fortunately, her parents got her a really light bat, a nice pink purple bat, which is really cool. And I'll link that one below if I can find it for you guys. Um, but that's my suggestion on the bat. Oh, recommendation, grab a handful of tennis balls as well. Uh, it hurts a lot less when it bounces off their face or even those little soft balls. Um, I use a lot of tennis balls uh, uh, in front of the house on the sidewalk. You can roll them grounders and each side of the grass on the sidewalk from the swale to the yard kind of keeps the ball within a bowling alley lane if you're with me. Uh, uh, this way it makes it a heck of a lot easier for them to get that hand-eye coordination. So I don't need to link a tennis ball, you know where to get these. Um, okay, so now we're, now we're on to shoes. I bought Adidas shoes online. And the reason that I bought a name brand instead of a knockoff brand, even though they're going to grow out of these things, is because Parker is a size 11. I know that if I buy a size 11 Adida or 11 Nike or 11 anything that has a name brand, it's still going to be a size 11. If I bought uh, something I don't even know what, what you'd call some off-brand names, uh, it might not necessarily be there. Um, and the other thing for parents, my wife is guilty of just doing this, make sure you get baseball cleats, not football cleats, not soccer cleats. They're, they're, they're absolutely different cleats, so make sure you get them. Uh, these, if I didn't already say it, were $22. The knockoff brands were 17 so it's, it's basically the same thing. You can upsize these uh, uh, another half a size to get a little more life out of them. You guys already know what's up. Um, but great shoes so far. They're Adidas. Okay. Now, the next couple of these things are not necessary, uh, but if you want a little extra time at home to play around, you get yourself a tee. With this particular tee, it's super cheap and you get what you pay for. How I make this thing work is, is I end up putting a screw right through here, okay, to hold this piece to this piece, and I take a two and a half pound uh, uh, Olympic style weight that slides over the top. Otherwise, the kids are gonna bang off of it right and the and the the teep this part will end up flying off or they hit the thing and it flops right over your other option instead of pumping a screw in there is get some um uh, a regular pvc glue and stick that thing together but then it'll be together forever which at the end of the day it doesn't matter you fold this thing do whatever you want shove it in the trunk this thing's really really crappy but it gets you by for i bought this for my older son 10 bucks i'll find it online and link it now Unless you're going to be really, really serious, know you're going to stick into this game for a while, uh, I wouldn't buy this. But I have two of these, this one provided to me uh, by the league because it's a shorter size. So for your kid, you're going to want to get this if you're starting out in pre-T and this will take them hell all the way up to freaking high school ball because it goes up in three different levels, okay? You're not going to want to get the regular one even though it's five or so dollars cheaper because where it sets at its bottom is too tall for the kid. It sits up about about this high. It's a little bit too tall. They're not able to get into that hard hitting zone around the waist, okay? So make sure if you're gonna up this and get this piece right here, uh, you get the one with, with three separate uh, 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 pieces right here. This thing I believe is 79 or $89 but the Tanner T is the way to go. I've had other coaches that I've coached with who bought the knockoff brand of the Tanner um, to save $10, and I've seen them all break. Out of as long as I've been doing this, I've only seen one Tanner T break, and all that happened was this piece separated, so it could just be glued right back together. I'm sure the coach already did it by now. And Tanner T sells replacement parts. I don't know about the other guys, uh, but Tanner T is really an awesome product. The last thing, that I don't think you're really gonna need to get it all unless your kid is obsessed with baseball. Uh, this doesn't come with the bag. Um, are some bases, okay? 
get these kind of bases if you go out and you buy bases, uh, the, the, the flatter ones. If you get the ones that are just pads, they have no weight to it, the kid steps on it, it flips out from under them, kid eats it. Or they come over and they tag it and keep running and it slides. These tend to stay on the ground a lot better. They're a lot more profile. It has a little, you know, a little edge right here, a miter right here. Uh, uh, so my recommendation, if you're going to get plates, stick with these. Now these are awesome for kids coming over the house and they want to go out front and play baseball. This way they're not throwing, you know, hats or rocks or whatever in the yard to call a base. They actually have bases and these things literally last forever unless you leave them at the field and lose them. Um, that's pretty much it for for this. If you guys like to see any other videos, t-ball videos, batting videos, drills, running, just let me know. And if I helped you guys out at all on this, which I hope I did, please help me. Check out those links below. Hit one of them buttons via YouTube down there, the, the bell, the thumbs up, any of those things. And I appreciate it. And, uh, and I'm going to start making more videos like this for you guys to help you all out. Thanks for watching.